What's going on everybody? Hey, I just wanted to do a real quick video all about the sixth and final stop of the Major League Fishing Invitational season. It was on the Mississippi River in La Crosse, Wisconsin, uh, specifically pool seven, eight, and nine. So La Crosse, where we launched out of was in pool eight. If you wanted to, you could have locked up to pool seven or you could have locked down to pool nine. Uh, in this tournament, I chose to maximize my time and not have to worry about the locks. I didn't have to worry about the stress of the barges or the locks breaking or not working. I chose to maximize my time and stay in pool eight. Um, it wasn't easy and in practice it wasn't easy. We had tough weather when we were there. It was extremely hot, like one of the hottest weeks in lacrosse. Um, every day it was 98 to 100 degrees and there was a couple factors that I think the fishing was, or the reason why I think the fishing was so tough. Number one is there was a couple big tournaments uh, the weeks before we got there. There was a 400 boat high school tournament along with uh, a 150 boat team tournament, you know, a couple weeks before we got there. And with the dropping water, low water, and extreme heat, I think it made for really tough fishing. So... In practice, like I said, I wasn't getting a lot of bites a day. People think of lacrosse, you think of just picking up a frog and a flipping stick and just being able to catch 20, 30, 40 fish in a day, and that just wasn't the case. I was only getting seven, eight, nine bites a day in practice, and that's with the long practice days, you know, daylight to dark, so 12, 13 hours of practice. So going into the tournament, you know, I... I will say the, the bites I was getting in practice were the right quality. I pretty much was locking a frog and a flipping stick in my hand and just, you know, praying for five of the right bites. And that's what I did during the tournament. I kept a Strike King Sexy Frog in my hand. When it was sunny, I threw white. When it was overcast or, or raining, I threw a, a brown or a black frog, just something a little darker that I thought they could see better. And really, I just kept it simple. You know, I threw threw a frog the majority of the day, and if one would come up and miss it or, or blow up on it and, and not get it, I'd go right back in there with a flipping stick and uh, and, and hope to get them, you know, punching or, or get them with a follow-up bait. But that was really about it. The first day, I got uh, seven keeper bites and weighed in a little over 13 pounds, which had me in the cut about 30th place. And then the second day I weighed in, you know, right around the same bag, but I only got six keeper bites all on a frog and had me in, I think, 27th place going into the day three. So I made the final day cut, which was great. It was a great way to end the season on a high note. And the last day, I uh, still kept that frog in my hand and I actually had more bites than I had the two previous days just for whatever reason they were missing it or I lost two and I only ended up weighing in three bass on the final day. Michigan, Robbie LaFerre, good to see you Robbie. Another cut for you man, kind of what you do too buddy. 13.5 on day one, 13.2 on day two. He'll weigh in three today. Three that go six pounds, eight ounces. Robbie still got you in 21st place. It's still a good payday, man. You made a lot of money this year. Yeah, the, the old saying, rather today than yesterday, that's yeah, for sure. Absolutely. But it was a tough week for me, really, um, the whole week. I was only getting five, six bites a day. I'd lock a Strike King uh, Sexy Frog in my hand and just pray for five good bites. Yep. Uh, today, I actually had more bites than I had the last two days. Um, but I'd lose them or they blow the frog out of the water come clean out of the water but it is what it is but i'm happy to be here thank you to all my sponsors that you know you guys are the ones that make it happen and uh yeah i'm looking forward to getting back out here next year that's kind of what you do robbie man it's been a pleasure weighing you in all year made a lot of cuts with us robbie lafeer but it didn't hurt me too bad like i said it, i already had made the final day cut so i had already gotten good points and a decent paycheck and Really was just happy to make make the day three cut based on my practice. Like I said, it was just kind of one of those tournaments that you just had to put your nose down and, and grind it out. And I feel like I, I did just that. So, uh, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. 
uh, thanks for all the support throughout the year and uh, and yeah uh, if you like these videos please uh, like and subscribe